Hello there, I'm Jimmy Vegas, and in this mini Unity tutorial I'm going to show you how you can create a script which will allow any NPC to follow you as if it were a companion. So before we begin, I have a scene set up here, uh, it's nothing too complicated, just a couple of cubes for a floor. Uh, I have a first person controller and I also have this particular asset which I have from the asset store. Uh, so if you fancy taking a look, head over there, this is it. And all it is... It's just got two animations attached to it, which come with the package, just an idle and running. Uh, it's in an animation format rather than animator. And the animations themselves are set as legacy in the debug menu. And they're both set to loop. So with that, what we need to do is create a C-sharp script. So right click, create C-sharp script. And we'll have this as NPC follow. Now, the script won't be too complicated. Um, it can be done in Mono Develop or Visual Studio, whichever one you want. And we're going to create uh, six variables to begin with. So I'm going to get rid of void start because we don't need that, and any notes because we don't need them either. And the first one is going to be the player itself. So public game object the player, semicolon. The next one is going to be the distance from the npc to the player because we'll be using array cast in this script so we will do public float and we'll just call it target distance semicolon next one we'll have an allowed range so how far we can be away until the npc stops trying to kind of chase after us and that will be public float and let's have that allowed distance and we'll make it equal to let's say five for now semicolon next is going to be the npc itself so we will do public game object and it'll be the npc semicolon next one is going to be the following speed so how quickly they can follow us public float and follow speed semicolon and finally as i said we're using a ray cast so we need to define that here public ray cast hit and i'm going to call this shot because it's going to be shooting the ray cast towards us to see how far away we are so the first thing you want to do here in the void update is make sure the npc is looking at us so transform dot look at and in brackets, we need to put the player dot transform and semicolon. So this is where the raycast now comes in. We have to define or rather state that we want to fire a raycast shot out from whatever this script is attached to, to the player. So if uh, physics, helps if I spell physics right, if physics dot ray cast and in brackets we're going to do transform dot position comma oops position comma uh, we need to transform the direction so it's transform dot transform direction and remember capitalization is vital uh, forwards it'll be so vector three dot forward close bracket there comma out because we need to output to shot and then two close uh, brackets and open curly bracket and in this section what we need to do is basically say target distance is equal to whatever we have in shot so shot dot distance semicolon and from this point we need to define whether we are within range or out of range and we can do that with a simple if and else so if target distance is greater than or equal to allowed range then open curly bracket and then we need to set the follow speed as whatever speed we want the 
NPC to follow. And I'm going to set it fairly low for now because I'm not entirely sure how this is going to react. But we can always test it. So follow speed uh, is equal to, let's say, 0.02f for now. And we can always modify. Uh, at this point, what we need to do is start playing the animation. And we've called it the NPC. So the NPC dot get component animation open close bracket dot play and in brackets and quotes the name of the animation and I believe it is called running yes it's called running so that's fine so if you're using the same model I am uh, this would be your script. You would use that name. If you're using a different model with a different name for whatever the movement animation is, you would just put the name of the animation there. So after that, what we need to do is transform the position of whatever object this is attached to and move it towards where it's basically looking. And we can do that by going transform dot position equals vector three dot move towards and in brackets transform dot position comma and it'll be the player so that's where we're moving towards the player dot transform dot position and we're going to do it at follow speed so whatever we set as follow speed a couple of lines previous uh, after that, close bracket, semicolon, and then we close curly bracket, which is already set for us because we're in Visual Studio. And we need to then go else, open curly bracket. This uh, else statement will be if we're in range. So if our NPC is right up against us, what we can do is basically stop. So, um, mm, 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 follow speed is going to be zero, semicolon, and the NPC dot get component, uh, spiky brackets, animation, open and close bracket, dot play, and I believe the name is idle, and then semicolon and I've just noticed there we didn't call it allowed range what we call allowed distance is so allowed distance that's the beauty of um, programming in something like Visual Studio it'll tell you where you've gone wrong and also if we click it we can see it's relating to that right there so let's check all our closed curly brackets so that else is closed uh, this if is closed and this update is closed and also our public class is closed there. So let's save that script. So let's head back to Unity and this is where the testing phase comes in. Now, what I like to do on occasion is depending on how this reacts, it might be wise to encase the NPC within, um, let's say a cube or something or other, but let's try it without a cube for now to see how this reacts. I'm hoping it all goes quite well. So we just need to drag and drop that C sharp script onto our NPC and then fill in the couple of variables. So the player and the NPC. Now I'm hoping when we press play, we should have some, there we go. So she is moving towards us very slowly. So what we need to do is increase that speed. So I'm thinking we should probably increase this follow speed to maybe 1.1 F and save. And let's see how this reacts. Okay, way too fast unless you want some magical, awesome NPC. So let's half that maybe a little, more than half. Uh, 0 0.5, let's try that out. Okay, so we can see here it's all about trial and error. I'm not going to uh, trial and error too much, but the idea is work out how fast do you want your NPC to be able to follow you. But we should be able to see at this point. Yeah, we've still not quite got that speed right, so let's half it again. 
save and fingers crossed this should be the last time yep so that looks good perfect so there is our follower so if we run all the way over here last test we can see she's still following us perfect so guys that is how you can create at least a simple way uh, of making the npc follow you you can advance that script further and um, really create some good ai there but uh, for now that's the end of this tutorial and i hope this has been useful for you guys to some degree and thank you very much for watching